All right, y'all, Rob Anderson with Clean Power Wash. Um, so, the beauty of troubleshooting with equipment is that basically when you're having an issue with one and you've got a full rig with multiple machines on it, compare side by side. So what we've been dealing with right here, we got two Honda GX690s. Uh, this one has, let's see, 709 hours on it. And this one probably has a few less. 413. All right. Um, so the issue that we're having, this one works just fine. I pull a choke. Choke goes in just fine. This one, you can actually see already, chokes out. Push it in. Nothing's happening, right? So you can see up here, and she's running real rough. Lots of soot and whatnot. So, one, in the field we could just do that that's going to get it to keep running just fine on this one you can see the normal operation of your choke that should be going basically start your machine up and close it so this piece of metal has um well a couple things so if the spring had been gone that would be causing an issue that spring is still in nice good shape the spring Oh, well, you can see that. Let's try this. It's okay, but this whole pivot point is actually really gummed up there versus this is smooth. So I'm going to put some WD-40 on it. We got a big job today. Granted, you don't want to put your hand next to the muffler, but if all it takes for us to do this job today is let her go like that, we're going to get that done. But I'm going to go ahead and spray some WD-40, get that cleaned up a little bit. Um, you can see it's got some a little bit of oxidation, a little bit of corrosion and stuff on it. Um, so get that cleaned up. The spring itself looks okay right now. Um, but we can also end up ruling that out if that's a problem or portion of it. Um, but it really does seem like this this wire has gotten actually bent a little bit. So I'm going to try and bend that down as well. But I'm going to get that cleaned up and get it working better. So you got a Honda GX690 where the choke wants to stay out when running. Um, these filters also, we're gonna be changing the fuel filters out. Um, that's not the problem per se, but it is certainly something that we would want to rule out and we would wanna have, uh, these should be changed out every once in a while anyway, so. So just wrapping it up, we sprayed some, a little bit of Alumalube. I'm sure you could probably use some WD-40 on this. But look at how smoothly this moves now. Um, so, ultimately again, bent this wire down a little bit, um, but really it was just that this was stuck here. Didn't want to move properly, but now it moves just great. So we're good to go. Um, I went ahead and actually sprayed the aluminum lube on um, four of the other machines, I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the other ones, but now that's a whole lot better. And now it's not gonna be puffing a whole bunch of black smoke, running rough. Um, we'll still probably end up doing an oil change and again, change these fuel filters. Um, just routine maintenance, but now we're good to go for the big job we got today.